Welcome back to 4-Minute Philosophical Positions with Carnades.org. A couple months ago, the Pope mentioned that it's possible for an atheist, if they're really good, to get into heaven. Of course, later the Vatican clarified exactly what the Pope meant, but in honor of this comment, I felt like doing a video on various philosophical positions on the afterlife. This, of course, is a basic introduction to these positions, and all religions have very intricate nuances of how they believe you can get to the afterlife, or get to heaven. If you want more information, check out those religions, or of course, as always, the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. One quick caveat before I get going, I'm going to use the word heaven to refer to whatever you believe the good result is after death, just to simplify things and make this easier on everyone. The three views we're going to be looking at are called pluralism, inclusivism, and exclusivism. Their names very much explain what they mean. So, first we'll start with pluralism. Pluralism is the belief that being a good and faithful member of your own religion will allow you access to your own heaven. For example, a good Christian who follows the tenets of Christianity will be good. They'll get into heaven. A Jew, on the other hand, who follows the tenets of Judaism will also be good. They'll get into heaven. However, if you had a Jew who maybe more followed the tenets of Christianity, ate pork, celebrated Christmas, that kind of stuff, they would not be getting into heaven, because they didn't follow the tenets of their own religion. Everyone should be a good member of their own religion. And all religions, to some degree, have an equal say. They're all on an equal playing field. And as long as their members are good members of their own religion, they're fine. Next up, we have inclusivism. Inclusivism is the belief that following the rules of whatever the correct religion is will allow you access to that religion's heaven regardless of belief. For example, if we thought that Islam was the correct religion, a Muslim who followed all the rules, was a good Muslim, would be good, getting into heaven. A Hindu, on the other hand, who followed rather the tenets of Hinduism and not Islam, would, they'd be in trouble. They'd be not going to heaven. But a Hindu who believed in Hinduism, but ended up following a lot of the tenets of Islam, would be good and going to heaven, as long as they were a good Muslim, even if they didn't believe in Islam. The basic story of inclusivism is as long as you follow our rules, you can believe whatever you want. Finally, exclusivism is the belief that the only way to heaven is to be a good and faithful member of the correct religion. If we thought, for example, that Buddhism was the correct religion, a Buddhist who followed all the tenets and believed, would be good, they'd be going to heaven. But a Sikh, for example, who believes in his own religion and follows his rules, wouldn't be going to heaven. Even a Sikh who follows a lot of the rules of Buddhism, but still believes in his own religion, is not going to heaven. The only way is the one true path, and of course, as they'll often tack on, our religion is the right one. To reduce these positions to caricature, the exclusivist is the one who's saying it's my way or the highway. The pluralist says believe what you want, just don't go back on your own beliefs. And the inclusivist says belief doesn't matter, just be a good person, <laughs> but only what I define as a good person. So to answer our original question, can atheists go to heaven? The exclusivist and the pluralist probably don't think so, but the inclusivist will say, well, if you follow our rules, belief doesn't matter. So yes, stay tuned for more videos at carneades.org and stay skeptical.